Hello, wonderful world of me, so so it is that. Stop my recording this. And welcome to my channel. Yeah, yeah. Chanel, sorry. So in today's video, I'll be um. Oh, sorry. In today's video, I'll be showing you all on how I did my hair, my custom hairbrush tool. <laughs> Finally. It's, some of you guys have been asking me for months, weeks, <laughs> I'm so sorry. And then I'll be showing you on how I do hair, which is also one of the uh, requests that you you guys have been asking me to do. So yeah, so um, I mean like to make the, first off we're gonna do the custom hairbrush tool. So what you wanna do is make a new canvas. The, um, I don't really care what size the canvas is, as long as it's as long as it has good quality, aka a really big canvas size. Yeah. So what I usually do is use the black color tool because I can see so that I can see uh, clearly. I don't know. And then what I usually do is make dots, random dots, random big small dots like this 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 and then what I what I do is make small dots some big ones some small ones oops I don't want that you wanna put some up here and down here as well That is ugly, but you get the memo, so just fix it until you're happy. Hmm. Okay, so after you're done with that, what I usually do is use the smudge tool, make it really big or just bigger than the actual dots and then Set the opacity to 79 or less or more and then just smudge, smudge it slightly both up and down. Just slightly. Just, just like this. So that the edges will be blended. And then when uh, you use the tool, it won't be as glitchy. I don't know. The last time I, the first time I did this, was just using dots and wasn't doing like a long line. And then it was kind of glitchy. I'm mean, like, I had to use, I had to use, I had to switch, switch tools to make it work properly. Like, like. If I use the hairbrush tool and then it doesn't work properly, then I have to switch something into a, some into a different brush, and then and then use it and then switch it back into the hairbrush and then it will work. That's my struggle, but it doesn't bother me as much because it's you know you just gotta be optimistic in life, and if you're negative in life, then what's the point? So yeah. Just do this, and what I, what I usually do is make it pretty blurry, kind of like that, because I don't want it to be too harsh, and then, yeah, after you're done with that, save it. I usually export PNG files, but this time, transparent, and set it to OK. And now, you're done with your hairbrush tool. So, if you want to, s yeah, sorry, I have an automatic um show show the image automatic slide thingy sorry i cannot explain okay so if you want to you know save this um, image then you can just make a new canvas for the next part but i don't since i have trial and errors and i have some that are decent so i'm not gonna save this so i'm just gonna clear it up so what uh, this part made me confused because I watched the tutorial and then the t uh, it was how to make a custom hairbrush tool on 
Photoshop and it says to use this and that and I'm here like the fuck <laughs> so um what what I figured out is go to the palette thingy and make a new brush which is this plus symbol or icon and then what you want to choose is bit bitmap sorry bitmap so um you can use bitmap or bitmap watercolor but you all know me and I really like watercolor because I like that hint of softness so yeah we're gonna go for watercolor and then what you have to do is um, go uh, it will bring you to your gallery yeah and then you have to uh, choose the you have to choose your saved one so basically it's yeah it's this one basically just choose the image that you did a while ago uh, make sure it is transparent because this that is pretty important really important to be honest and then what you want to do is fix the settings and so I really want to I usually make the um, width pretty big so that I can see properly and then you can put it pressure size I usually put it at at that I usually uh, equip that so that I have like a nice you know pressure sensitivity so that the hair strokes won't be as thick Coconut, coconut sharks in the water. Oh coconut, my coconut sharks in the water. I'm so sorry, you guys. A bitch tried to call me at 9 p.m. Okay, so like I said, um, make a new, uh, make a new brush. Use bitmap watercolor and choose the image. Like I said, sorry, I just backed out because she called and then the, you know, the settings disappeared. So, like I said, make the width pretty big so that you can see everything. And then, equip pen pressure size. You can equip pen pressure opacity if you want. Doesn't work me as well. So, as much, as well, as good. Mm -hmm, I don't know. So, what you want to do is really... Yeah, you want to reduce the brush spacing. And then brush rotation to zero. And then random rotate to zero. Yeah, it's coming along and ease of mixing colors. We don't need that really. Low color, 100%. Come on. Uh, yeah. And then, yeah, this is basically it. Yeah, like I said, it is gonna be a little bit Gucci and dotty. So. Whoa, that looks good. Scary. Okay, print pressure opacity, please help. Rotate along. Yes, rotate along. I think, I don't know. Ah, oh well. Okay, so that's the... <laughs> sorry. That's one of my, you know, followers and I chat to him. Wait, what? Okay. Um, so that's the settings. I hope because I don't remember my settings. So just set it and then test it out. Oh my god, that is thick. That is thick. Super duper duper thick. Really, really, really thick. I don't suggest you do this. Like I said, it took me a while, so just trial and error. So, if you're unhappy with your brush, like me right now, that is thick. So, we're gonna restart. So, I'm just gonna speed up this process right now. Oh yeah, and also tip to uh, make uh, to make realistic hair, uh, you know, hair strokes or whatever. Um, I suggest make them really far apart so that you have hair flyaways. So yeah.
okay so I'm done with this I uh, am this you know uh, again so like I said it's trial and error it took me a while to get to make this brush perfect but um yeah yeah and if you want I can post it somewhere on Google so that you guys have you know easy access if you don't want to make this <coughs> Don't worry, I can sacrifice myself, <laughs> I guess, uh -huh. I don't know. So, like I said, just save the image, make sure it is transparent, clear the image, make a new brush, not edge pen, cancel, make a new brush, bed matte watercolor, sorry, watercolor, ugh, I'm so sad. <laughs> Legit a bitch called me And that bitch was my hoe She was my girl She was my She was my um, She was my homie She was my hoe She was my bitch And she fucking called me In the middle of me recording And I am a little bit pissed Not gonna lie Why would I lie So yeah Oh well, so like I said, just mm -hmm. and then yeah, that looks a little bit more thick. Oh my god, <laughs> I mean like, like I said, you can make uh, the, you know, you make, you can make hair fly ways, like I said, by, just by making the dots like more farther apart, but if you would want to do this more, anymore, then you can just fix the fix the rotation I'm like that looks a little bit better oh from this angle it is beautiful if you want you can make it rotate along so that oops Rotate a lot. Set. And if you equip rotate along, then it'll just, you know, if you, like I said, this side looks pretty. And then when I go like down and it turns to clumpy th things, to cl clumpy parts. So if you equip like rotate along, then if I turn, it won't, you know, join them. And like I said, if you equip and pressure size, it will be very, it will look at least more natural. But if you use rotate along, I suggest not using it to for curly hair because it doesn't look nice. For example, like this. That is not right. But if you use it for straight hair, yeah, that looks good. Oh god. <laughs> someone, another someone asked me to edit for them. I mean like, if one of you guys asked me to make you, your to make, um, to, to make, uh, wait, what? If you want, if, if one of you asked me to make, uh, to make, yourselves wait wait i cannot wait let me think the the sentence through okay uh if some of y'all ask me to make you an edit uh not uh yeah i re i rejected most of them 
but I won't reject like the ones that were that are kind to me even though they, they didn't ask for it like MSP Wars he he uh, like I said uh, he um, so I won a contest that he held and then I won the con yeah like I said I won the contest that he held and then he, he, the prize was VIP so I was happy so I made a new account for for a uh, guy character because I don't have one officially I mean I have two now and then uh, when I won and then you know got my VIP and then was spending it not spending all of my money but you know uh, but, uh, <laughs> that gathering my money as much as I can while I have VIP he gave me items like clothes animation even a hair crown he gave me did he give me a hair crown I don't remember but he gave me an outfit an overall outfit with and yeah which I'm really happy about because it looks cute and then he also gave me cool animations and sweet and shy animations posing animations which I, which I really like so yeah I was super happy I was super happy so yeah I made an edit for them for free and I was thinking of making commissions but people have to pay them you know but unfortunately I don't have PayPal should I make PayPal because I am underage <laughs> Uh, comment down below. Yeah, I'm gonna make another brush. I'm gonna, I'm, I'll try to pick, pick the one that was created by me a long time ago. I don't remember which one. Was it this one? That looks weird. <laughs> what was I thinking? Ay caramba. What is, what is that? Oof. No, I don't think it's this one. You spend my right round, right round, like the wreck, baby, right round, right round. Multi brush. Ooh. Ooh. I love that. Oh, I don't remember which one. Shit. Is it this one? Was it this one? Nope, it was not. Let me tell that it wasn't. I'll I wanna experiment with the multi with the multi brush now. I hmm. Okay, so what is that? What is this? Oh, maybe it's this one. I don't wanna change the name. Maybe it's this one, I don't remember. I'm just gonna set it that. Yeah. That still looks thick, what the hell? Well, I mean like, I'm gonna delete all of them. Because I don't... Like I said, it's trial and error, but I have a good one okay so I have multiple good ones that I was surprised I even achieved which is this one I'm like I know it's not that good but it separates so I'm happy about that and then there's this one which is somewhat the same but smaller uh, I think I use this for eyelashes but not anymore because it doesn't work for me now and then uh, yeah this is for eyelashes let me demonstrate like the individual lashes you can imagine 
imagine how useful this um, brush is to me but I don't use it frequently because it sometimes glitches on me and doesn't work which I'm kind of sad about but not really because I can do lashes without custom brushes and then there's this one which is it is a feel but I thought it was too precious to waste because it make it makes really thin you know really thin lines and then there's this one which I don't know why I kept <laughs> but you know and then yeah there's this one which is hair which is what I use yeah that's the one that yeah this is the one that I use and I know it doesn't look as clean and not too, and not really you know but I really do like this brush but I don't usually use it I use it for hair flyaways and stuff yeah but I don't usually use this for highlights I only use this for highlights when I wanna mm, and I'm lazy I guess but when I'm lazy I don't really edit so I don't know what excuse that was but okay so sure, sure. Like I said, some of these custom brushes can be glitchy like this one. It is very glitchy. Look at that. It is not a straight, a beautiful straight line. It's just really unconnected. <laughs> so, let's not leave you guys hanging. Alright, so, let's make another one. <laughs> Yeah, maybe that's good. Like I said, it's trial and error. So, um, just keep on experimenting. And by the way, don't make the lines too long. <laughs> I made the lines a little bit too long, to be honest. <laughs> Let's just erase that a little. Yeah, sure. These are really big dots. Let me make them a little bit smaller. Just trial and error. Keep trying. So after you done that, like I said, gosh and blur. Blur it out. And then yeah. And then yeah. Save it and then repeat, rinse and repeat until you're satisfied. That's just what I did the first time, the second time, the third time, the fourth time, the fifth time. And let me tell you, it was unpleasant. <laughs> But I'm mean, like, is it worth it? Kind of, but not really worth it. <laughs> I'm mean, like, it's worth it if you don't have like, if you're not busy and such. But it is, it is not worth it if you're busy like me. I'm busy with school. I'm always tired and lazy. Yeah, laziness and tiredness. Hmm, is that even a word? Um, is you know, is being busy, in my opinion, <laughs> because I need rest. <laughs> I hope this this one turns out nice, because I am getting fed up.
I think that looks okay. Oh wait. Pen pressure capacity. I mean, um, wait, wait, girl, ooh, girl, I mean, like, that's not really bad, come on, you just need to tweak the rotation a little bit, and then I think it looks, it will look good, ooh, come on, this this one has potential. This one really really do has potential. I like this one. I might switch this one for the hairbrush because this one looks much more smoother. Let me try the hairbrush again. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. Let's switch. I'm like this is much more like far apart and less hair but this one I'm like I know it's more hair and thicker but I mean it doesn't look that bad and it has some flyaways and I can work and I, I can work it out so let's just yeah let's just try this for a bit so I think that's it for my how to do the hairbrush the hair, custom hairbrush uh, tool that you all have, have been asking me and then if you were wondering yes this is the technique that I used in my I made an eyelash tool and I'm loving it that video I'll link the video in the description box below and like I said it is the technique that I use in this that's the technique that I use for for, this is the technique that I use for that eyelash brush that I don't use anymore <laughs> god that's sad <laughs> but to be honest it looked nice so I'm not really that sad okay so thank you so much for watching and oh yeah wait hold up let me demonstrate so uh, let me do like mm, like okay bangs okay let me sketch it sketch something out for you guys okay let let's draw like blunt blunt bangs blunt cut bangs for blunt cut bangs i don't really draw the individual lines because like i said the hairbrush will fix it yeah and then i'm just let's let's draw curly hair Mm, sure. Wavy hair. Yeah, straight hair. I mean, like wavy and straight kind of same, but you know. Okay, so what I usually do to fill in the hair is for the bangs, especially the bangs, is I don't usually go for the ends. I usually leave it like leaves leave uh, like a lot <laughs> out this much yeah and for the hair that doesn't have like you know um ends or if <laughs> with hair flyaways and such so yeah and for the ends i suggest using another tool which is watercolor soft tool yeah it has amazing pen pressure and for this i uh, i usually use 
for the main hair flyways like the big ones like this the thick big ones like like that okay so now using the hairbrush like I said it will be glitchy like this this is what exactly what I was talking about if you use another brush and then the custom hairbrush it will glitch out like this so in order to fix that you have to use another brush and then switch back to the hairbrush wait what? okay there are specific types of brush <laughs> Okay, that worked. Okay. So, uh, what I what, how I usually use is go from the roots, and then yeah. To me, that's a little bit too much. So let's lower the opacity a little, like fifty. That still looks a little bit too much, like twenty-four. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I like that. I really like. I really like that. Yeah, you see how how natural that looks? I really like how this looks. It looks really fine. I really like that. It's kind of tricky at times because the cursor, the cursor tool isn't really defined and I'll point. Just, just kind of get used to it and practice on how to use it. Practice makes progress. It never makes perfect. Except in, you know, in specific stuff. So these are the blunt bangs and if you think it's a little bit too bald then I have some tips and tricks. Yes. God this video is somewhat useless. I'm so sorry if this video was was useless and unhelpful but I tried and you guys asked for it so there you go. Since you have these bald spots that is unnatural you can clearly see a line there uh, I usually use the airbrush tool and make it kind of small and then lower, lower the opacity to 15 and then just go over the line and then the hair a little yeah that will make it blend even more and I hope it doesn't glitch it glitched again that doesn't work okay okay now that worked since these are supposed to be blunt bangs you can just erase it yeah see I mean, like, you can highlight with them, but I don't suggest doing that because, um, in my opinion, uh, it looks weird in some, especially, especially in some parts, like, like there. I mean, like, it is in an angle, but if you start, like, there, it, it looks kind of weird, in my opinion. You can highlight if you want. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so 
and if you're doing highlights with this brush uh, pen pressure and opacity pr and opacity pressure opacity what uh, pen pressure opacity and pen pressure size is key to highlights because it will make it look natural and beautiful god that is such a small brush you can make it bigger if you want but in my experience the bigger the brush is the laggier the program gets so I usually just make the brush small and don't make it big so it it yeah it wastes more time <laughs> yeah I can't I cannot explain but you get the point that is ugly oh my god hold up okay now that's better And if you're using this brush to highlight, patience. You have you gotta have patience. I'm really patient, not really patient. Sometimes I'm I get mad and then just give up, but um I try to be patient as I possibly can because every time I use the hairbrush tool, it gets laggy, which is making the process even longer. And um Sometimes it shuts down when it's too laggy and then it is very unexpected so if it shuts down and then your all your work is gone you have to redo it which has happened to me a million of times a million of times a million of times the hell okay a lot of times and it was unpleasant <laughs> like, let's just say that it was unpleasant it was and I always blame it on the program <laughs> I always say like Maddie Bang you bitch <laughs> and then yeah something bad yeah I'm so sorry for swearing because I never said this was a friend, a kids friendly channel and I have sw swore, 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 cursed, cussed uh, in my other videos, videos so yeah, yeah so that's it, that's how I made and use, yeah use, um, not usually for the highlights but usually use for the silhouette of the hair and uh, yeah sorry that's it that's my tutorial i hope you guys enjoy this video and like comment share and subscribe or something and then yeah i really do hope you guys think that this video was helpful because you guys have been asking me about this questions about this about this uh, a lot and here it is so yeah and like i said um this is the technique that i use in my uh, that I use for my eyelash uh, for my custom eyelash brush tool so what do you want if you want to make an eyelash custom brush tool or whatever um, just make the brush smaller and uh, more just a teeny bit closer to each other so that you know doesn't look wonky and thick like I did <laughs> So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. I really do hope so. Yeah, yeah. Good. <coughs> God, I am so inappropriate. Okay. <laughs> Good. <laughs> see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.